Internet, I talk too much. And that's why making these videos is so hard. Well, something came up uh, recently that I have to comment on, or I would like to comment on, or... Well, I've got a big mouth, so I'm going to comment on. If any of my subscribers here are familiar with Taryn Southern, I believe she was named by uh, Playboy as one of the most desirable women on YouTube. I saw that post. It had Hugh Hefner in it, and then I clicked through all those women, and Taryn Southern was there, but Trisha Hershberger wasn't, and I was confused. But uh, Taryn Southern, another lovely lady of YouTube, and a very interesting uh, person whom I'm subscribed to, had a question brought to her by one of her viewers, which is, how do you get a man to stop uh, hitting on you when a wedding ring is not a deterrent? Well, I mean, let's be honest here. I could never get men to stop hitting on me. I mean, it happens all the time. I don't know. But, but this is not really a question you should ask a, a woman who, uh, like Taryn, probably has men always hitting on her because she looks like Taryn Southern. And Well, I mean, hey... I'd forget that I'm a big, fat, ugly freak if I were standing around her. Anyway, let me put this to you from a male perspective. First off, I've known a lot of women who were married who were still hitting on me. I mean, really obviously hitting on me. There was one time I actually asked a woman, I said, Hey, uh, it's a nice wedding set you have there. It was a an engagement ring and a wedding band. I said, Is that a, that's a nice wedding set you have there. Is that platinum? And she gets this, oh, crap look on her face and says, no, it's white gold. And I still, to this day, couldn't tell you if she got that, oh, crap look on her face because she was upset that I wasn't interested in having a short thing or she had just remembered that she wasn't on the market. The need to breed does not happen here. Not in men or women. I think it happens somewhere back along the brain stem in here. But breeding is very basic. This is the prefrontal cortex. I have a degree in psychology. I know these things. This is where critical thinking is. Need to breed? Somewhere further back. Drinking shuts this down. You start breeding. There you go. So here's the thing. As a man, I might see a wedding ring and say, I'm not messing with that. But if you're not a man that cares, the wedding ring probably isn't a deterrent because there are plenty of women who don't care either. So, point one. You want this guy to back off? Talk about your husband. If you don't have a husband and, and you're not on the market and some guy is bothering you, Talk about your significant other in a good light, in a favorable light. Talk about how much you love them and how many fun things you do together. And generally, this guy will be like, oh, okay, you're not on the market. If that doesn't work, uh, Taryn said, you know, pass gas. Generally, creeps don't care if you pass gas. Just so you'll know, D-bags don't care. So, you might want to just say, hey, you know, you're getting a little too friendly with me. At which point the guy will say, oh, you know, well, he might be a dork and say, hey, I'm supposed to be getting friendly with you. I want to get some. Or he might be a dork and say, uh, you know, hey, hey, I'm just trying to be friendly here. And that is a possibility. Maybe the guy is just trying to be friendly. I have plenty of female friends. Granted, I suppose I wouldn't kick them out of my bed, but, well, no, some of them I would kick out of my bed. Some of them are, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> look, look at me. You can tell I have a lot of female friends. Women look at me and think, gee, I just want to be friends. That's beside the point. Other thing is, if this guy is someone you interact with a lot, it's probably happening at the gym at work, someplace you're always going. 
if he's not backing off when you say back off, you need to take that to management. But you need to say very clearly, hey, I'm not interested, back off. You may have done something, made him think you're interested. Look, a woman comes up to you and she really wants to get in the sack with you and she'll say, hello. Motorcycle. I'm not kidding. It's, it's how she says hello, she thinks that's a come on. So like I say, point one, talk about the boyfriend or husband, favorable light. Point two, strong rebuff. It's that simple. You say, hey, I'm not interested. Point three, take it to management. Or, you know, hey, if they really crazy, follow a restraining order. You know, that's, that's kind of how that works. Anyway, I am going to send this video to Taryn Southern. Uh, I know it's not of the quality you would expect, and... Oh, hey, seeing a fat, ugly dude like me will give anybody a bad day. But, Taryn, I hope you learned something from it. And, and just remember, if you want to know how a man thinks, well, men don't really know how they think because we don't do very much of it. But uh, if you want to know how a man thinks, talk to a man with a degree in psychology. Wah, 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 wah.